har valt att döma så blir det Ego Boys som vinner. Bort till Hås, bort till Driver, nummer ett, Max Provello. Fortfarande två man i mängden, försök Jordia Limitid som närmare sig. Hi, I'm John Campbell, and I won the 1988 Elite Lop with Mac Lobel. When I was a child, all I dreamt about was driving horses in races, and I got to do that for a living. So I feel very fortunate and uh, gratified in that regard. The one thing that, that just struck me from the time that I got to the racetrack was the crowd. It was amazing. It was just so enthusiastic. There were so many people and um, you'd hear this big roar go up all of a sudden and you'd ask what was that and they'd say well that's just one of the horses warming up for the uh, elite lop and we don't have anything like that in the United States where people cheer just for horses warming up. Well going over to the elite lop, Mac had raced here a number of times. He was more mature physically and uh, we were, couldn't have been happier with him going over to the elite lop. Um, I got a frantic call from Ch Chuck Sylvester and he wouldn't go. He just refused to train. And when he first mentioned it to me, I wasn't that concerned. I just said, Chucky, put him with some, with some other horses and he'll go. He'll... He said, I already did that and he won't go. So I was very concerned because that was unlike him. He'd never done anything like that before. My main concern was the post parade, was because I, I had to keep him moving because if he stopped, I was afraid he wouldn't go again and he would just balk and stay there. So I, I had kept him around horses and kept his attention, and it was a full-time job in the post parade just to keep him going. He got away from the gate great. Uh, I wasn't concerned about that. It's just a little easier from the second post, and I would have liked to head two, but I did not want to have any chance of Action Squad or having the rail. It was, she could leave too fast. And, uh, but then they, they, we went out of the gate very hard in the final, and then everything settled by the quarter, and I was able to rate him through the middle half and when you could do that with Mac Lobel, he, he was just very difficult to beat. Iledningen börjar nummer ett Mac Lobel första fem på en noll sju komma fem. I was very concerned about keeping his attention, just making sure that he paid attention to what he was supposed to be doing and not let his mind wander and have him roll off stride. Nummer ett, Mac Lobel, följt av två, Chevy Hurricane, Hanover och fyra, Napolitano. Bort the Hås, bort the Driver, nummer ett, Mac Lobel och John D. Campbell. I didn't appreciate it as much then, but knowing how hard it is for a four-year-old to go over and beat those horses that are aged, it's a very difficult thing to do, and uh, you know, looking back on it, it's just an incredible performance by him. Well, the winner's circle was just... Uh, uh, Jubilation, chaos. Uh, Lou Guida, his owner, just broke down and cried like a baby. He was so happy. It was just uh, an amazing uh, feeling and an amazing emotion. Well, I certainly place it as one of the one of the top accomplishments of my career. And I tell anyone that gets invited to the Elite Lop if they're undecided of whether to go, I said, "You go. It's an amazing experience. It's a once-in-a-lifetime." Uh, experience that you know you, we just don't have over here and I urge anybody that gets the chance in the United States to go to the Elite Lop and be part of it to do so.